Welcome back to another edition of This is D-SPAN, the podcast. Tonight we are going to do our ACC preview. Uh, Then after this we will have the Big Ten and Big East uh, up by tomorrow, uh, just before tip-off of the opening of college basketball tomorrow. I think everybody's pretty excited about that after the uh, brutal Packer loss yesterday. But uh, let's get into the ACC. Uh, Interesting, a lot of good talent. Uh, was lost from the ACC from a year ago uh, with the Duke guys and uh, obviously Virginia winning the national title. Uh, They lost their top three guys as well. Uh, So let's start from the bottom here. Uh, The bottom dweller this year, Georgia Tech. Uh, Yeah, Josh Prasner was brought in to be a big-time recruiter here at Tech. Uh, His 2019 class ranks 120th this year. Uh, So Prasner's not getting done. His seat is very hot. Uh, they are also banned from postseason play this year uh, for some violations. So I have Virginia Tech at the bottom. And, uh, yeah, it, it's it, another mystery to me. You know, Georgia Tech in Atlanta area has always been a hotbed, especially for AAU basketball. Uh, they do not seem to be pulling any guys out of there. Uh, but we got them at 15, and uh, that's they're in the bottom of the ACC at 14, Boston College. Uh, Kai Bowman left early. Uh, he's now actually playing significant minutes for the Golden State Warriors. Uh, that's all I got to say about Boston College. They're going to be a, an ACC bottom dweller. Uh, 13, Wake Forest. Danny Manning uh, may be the next ACC coach canned after Josh Pastner. He might be uh, canned before that. Uh, positive notes for the Demon Deacons. Brandon Childress is back. Uh, but uh, some interesting numbers. Uh, the Deacons ranked 281st in points scored last year and 278 points allowed uh, from last year. Uh, most of the roster returns, which is a positive, but when you look at those numbers, uh, is it really that much of a positive? Not sure. I got them at 13, but Brandon Childress is a guy to watch. Uh, let's see here at number 12, I got Virginia Tech. Uh, lost almost their entire roster and lost Buzz Williams. Uh, Hokies are in trouble this year. It's going to be a complete rebuild for Virginia Tech. At number 11, Clemson. The Tigers have to replace 75% of their scoring from last season. Uh, doesn't usually bode well for uh, Coach Bronwell. Uh, but transfers Tevin Mack and Texas Tech transfer Kevin Moore are two to keep an eye on uh, for the Tigers. So I got them slotted at 11. Uh, but they're always a team that can uh, pull off an upset once or twice a year. At number 10, Pittsburgh. Jeff Cables brought them out of the cellar uh, to at least being a formidable team. Uh, he has been a recruiting machine since he's been there and actually had a pretty solid first season for not having much. Uh, his 2018 recruiting class is already paying off. Uh, two guys to watch for Pitt uh, this year will be Xavier Johnson and Trey McCollins. Uh, so I got them slotted at 10. At number 9, Miami, the Hurricanes. Watch out for Florida transfer Keith Stone once he is uh, he's at eligible. But he's also coming off an ACL injury from last year. Uh, so I don't know if he's going to start the season out or uh, on uh, minutes restriction. Uh, but alongside Chris Sykes, who's an ACC top 10 scorer coming back from last year, I got the Hurricanes at 9. And obviously Coach Jim Laranega has, uh, has done some good stuff at Miami and uh, just an overall really good coach. Uh, so never want to count them out. Uh, of anything. Uh, at number eight, Syracuse. A uh, very young team this year, but talented. Uh, I think they're going to be right on that borderline of getting in the NCAA tournament like they are uh, the past couple of years. Uh, Elijah Hughes is their veteran forward back. Uh, he's going to probably lead them as far as, uh, as some of the young guys can take them. So I got them slotted at number eight. At number seven, Notre Dame. Uh, two guys that are back. Uh, Rex Fluger coming off an injury and John Mooney uh, who was a double-double machine last year. Uh, but this is the biggest thing. Can, I, can uh, Notre Dame make it back to the NCAA tournament? Uh, I think they can this year. I think they are probably like a, a 10 or 11 seed. Um, another good coach in Mike Bray. Uh, hopefully can uh, get the Irish back in the tournament. Uh, number six, NC State. Very veteran backcourt. C.J. Bryce, Braxton Beverly, and uh, Devon Daniels are back. Uh, not to mention Dark Horse POI. Uh, candidate Markel Johnson. Uh, if if you guys remember from last year, NC State was the kind of the team that surprised everybody. They started thirteen and one, uh, and then they kind of uh, fell off the map there. Uh, interesting though here, I got them at six. Ken Palms got them at twenty eight. So uh, a pretty good preseason ranking by by, uh, by Ken Palm. 
Uh, we'll see how far NC State can go. They also do match up with uh, Wisconsin this year in the ACC Big Ten Tournament. Uh, so we'll be able to take a, a look at them here locally. At number five, Florida State, the Seminoles. Uh, things keep rolling in Tallahassee, uh, especially the biggest recruit since John Thick Isaac. Uh, Coach Leonard Hamilton has landed in Patrick Williams. Uh, I always trust in Leonard Hamilton. They're gonna they're gonna play defense. They're gonna be long. They're gonna be aggressive. Uh, Ken Palm's got him at number fourteen this year. At number four, I got the Duke Blue Devils. Can you believe it's been over ten years since Duke has won a, a regular season ACC title, even a share? Uh, hard to believe after you know a national championship and and many ACC tournament titles. Uh, four big time recruits coming to replace Barrett, Zion, and Reddish. Uh, from last year, Trey Jones is planning on running the show once again. Uh, the sophomore is back. Uh, add Wendell Moore, Vernon Carey, Matthew Hurt as the big-time freshman recruits coming in. Uh, we'll find out tomorrow night. Uh, they're going to open up against Kansas. Uh, Ken Palm's got him slotted right at number four. Uh, I got him lower than most people do, but uh, these top four teams, I think, you know, come towards the end of the year, could be a, a rotation of these top four. So I got Duke at number four. Uh, at number three, the defending national champions, Virginia Cavaliers. Uh, Tony Bennett brings back Descartes. Uh, I, I want to try to say his first name right. I think Mamadi, uh, but lose uh, Hunter, Guy, and Jerome from last year, uh, all guys that made the NBA. Uh, but I'm going to trust in the system uh, that's in place in Virginia, plug in new guys, roll defensively. Ken Palm's got him at number five. I got him number slated at number three in the ACC. At number two, uh, North Carolina Tar Heels, my favorite freshman of the in the country this year, Cole Anthony, is in the driver's seat. It's going to take over for Kobe Wright. This guy is electric. Uh, I think he's going to be a top five draft pick easily. Um, Tar Heels lost over 80% of their scoring last year, but I still really like uh, the returning guys that are back. Uh, and I also like the uh, freshmen that are coming in. Uh, but Roy Williams has his work cut out for him. I got him slated at number two, but the big-time talent is there. Uh, another guy I wanted to mention, five-star center Armando Baycott Jr. Uh, is going to be a star, and uh, Ken Palm's got him slated at number six. So I got them slated number two to finish in the, in the ACC. And number one, Louisville. Wow, year two of Chris Mack, and the cards are already rolling, and uh, and the <laughs> recruiting class for next year is is gaining by instant two. He's just pulling in guys from everywhere. Uh, Jordan Wara and Ryan McMahon are two names to watch here. Uh, five out of Louisville's top six returners uh, are back. And then add in the 12th best recruiting class this year. I, I just love this Louisville team to make the Final Four. Uh, Ken Palm's got them slated at number three. I have them winning the ACC regular season. And I also have the Coach of the Year as Chris Mack. Uh, for the all-conference prediction to wrap things up for the ACC, uh, Jordan Wara uh, from Louisville, Cole Anthony, North Carolina, Trey Jones from Duke, Markel Johnson, NC State, and then I got Patrick Williams at Florida State. Uh, for my player of the year, uh, I'm going to go with the talented freshman Cole Anthony from uh, North Carolina. I, just, I really like his game. Uh, I think he's going to have a big, big season in Chapel Hill, so I'm going to go with him as the player of the year. Uh, be sure to stay tuned. I got the Big Ten and Big East. We'll, go, we'll dive a little bit more into those two teams with Wisconsin and Marquette. Uh, for the conferences, I should say, but with those teams being in there, uh, we will dive into them, their roster a little bit more. But uh, that's the ACC. Uh, stay tuned for the Big Ten and Big East.